Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I thought I'd just uh, do a bookish chat and ramblings video. Um, I haven't done one of these before, usually there's some general point to my chat but um, this is just general bookish stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got to stop buying books. Um, I bought, bought something like 30 odd, nearly 40 in August and I, I mean, and I've read 20, just over 20 so I'm buying almost double than, than I'm reading so I've really got to slow down on the book buying but there's just so much I want and this is the problem. I've already ordered a book, we're still in August just at the moment, um, won't come until September, there's another book I'm going to order which was written by my friend Michelle so I want to read that as a children's book and obviously I'll be featuring that um, on my channel once I receive it. Um, but first of all I'm gonna just say yeah so I'm just gonna try and calm down with the book buying because I, I mean it, it, it you know it was excessive but then I did buy my Harry Potters which I had the money for and I did buy the loads of books for five quid which was amazing and the, the rest weren't there was only about three or four full priced ones it wasn't a lot so first of all what am I currently reading I'm currently reading Terry Pratchett's The Last Hero which is a, a sort of like a graphic novel I suppose it's not like a a comic book I'm, I'm never sure what a graphic novel is but it's an illustrated book anyway um I'm reading Carol O'Connor's Judas Child, this is something that was lent to me by my friend Julie about two kidnapped girls and the, the policeman who is hunting them um, in his past his twin sister was murdered she was kidnapped and murdered and her body discovered on Christmas Day so it's really, oh it's really hard hitting stuff but it's good um, so I'm currently reading that and I'm also currently reading Claire Tomlin's Thomas Hardy The Time Torn Man which is as you can see a beast of a book. This is my friend Phil's so I said I'd get on with it and read it. I haven't read much but I am actually enjoying it. I love reading biographies. I love Thomas Hardy's works. I mean particularly The Mayor of Casterbridge is my favourite but I love his poetry as well. Funny enough my least favourite is Tess of the Durbervilles. I just don't, I don't get it. It's just one that's not appealed to me. So those are the books I am currently reading. So, so I've got to look at my notes to see what I've written down. Um, so um, um, why do I read? Well I've always read. Um, I think I was reading by the time I was four. I've always loved books. Like I said in my previous one I read The Famous Five. Back in my day though there was no real genre changes. So you had, now you've got ch children's fiction and then you've got middle grades and then you've got young adult and then you've got adult. When I was a, a, a kid there was no middle grade, there was no young adult. You literally went from, and I literally went from Enid Blyton to Agatha Christie. There was no in between. So it's nice that there's all these different genres now that you've got. You've got the child, the really young children's book, then you've got the younger children's book up, up to like 11 or 9, then you've got middle grade, and then you've got young adult, and then you've got adult, and it's a nice way of progressing, whereas we didn't have that. It was literally, and I literally did go from reading Enid Blight and Tagatha Christie, the librarian was a bit, whoa, and mum was off, let her have them, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so it's, it, it, it's an, it, I think it's great that there are young adult books now, and I think it's great that they're middle grade. I even had to look up what middle grade meant, because I wasn't sure had an idea and the book my friend's written is a middle grade book it's for children 9 to 13 so it's middle grade I'm looking forward to that um so I read because it's an escape I do suffer from depression occasionally and reading always makes me feel better as does theatre I mean theatre makes me feel better I love the theatre as well I've got lots of hobbies I'm not one of those people who just reads I don't have a reading slump like most people if I don't feel like reading I just don't read but I don't call it a slump um I do a lot of photography. At the moment I'm in a photography slump. I'm not, I don't want to take post photos. Normally you can't stop me, especially when the weather's nice and it's summer. There's flowers everywhere. I'm usually in the garden at my mum and dad's house taking pictures. But I'm just not in that place mentally at the moment. I'm in a reading place. But I never lose the reading. I may read less, but I wouldn't call it a slump. I mean, I'm reading excessively amounts at the moment. Um, I set my good reads, so we'll move on to that. Um, I've been on Goodreads for a few years. Only once have I ever completed the challenge. So I've set it up this year with a total a, a amount that I wanted to try and read of 125, which is a lot of books. And people are like, oh my God, that's like two, two books a week or whatever. I don't even know what it is. I am currently on 102 books. I am going to exceed it. No question, I'm not. I'm, there's no way I can't hit it um, with the amount I'm reading at the moment. I expect to hit my target towards the end of September if 
not beginning of October and then it'd be interesting to see what I finish up on and that's how I will then judge my target for 2017. So if I read I'm on 125 and I read 150 I won't set the target for 150 I'll probably set it for 135 which is somewhere in between the two. So yeah so I'm doing really well on that I'm really really proud of myself and I've read some big books because obviously I've read Game of Thrones and The Clash of Kings but I've also read some smaller books and obviously plays are very very small and I read a lot of plays. Um, now September's TBR. Now I don't normally have a fixed TBR because I will just read whatever I want to read. Um, I can't say oh, I'm going to read this, this, this and this and pick 10 books that I want to read. Um, there are books I know I'm going to read so those are the ones I'm going to focus on now. Um, I know I'm going to read the next book in the Chronicles of St Mary's series which is A Trail Through Time by Jodie Taylor. That's uh, book four I believe book four. I really do enjoy these so I'm looking forward to getting to this one. Um, these I can read in one sitting, two sit one sitting or two sittings. They, they're so easy to read but I really really enjoy them. Uh, another book I'm going to get to this month is called Cleopatra's Shadows um, by Emily Holman and this is a book about Cleopatra's sister Arsinoe and her struggles as an Egyptian princess. There were three sisters, Cleopatra, who we all know, and then Arsinoe and Berenice. So I love ancient Egypt. I got quite a selection of factual books on ancient Egypt, which obviously I'll show when I finally get around to doing a bookshelf tour. Believe me, there is one in the works that I need to do some work in the room to sort the books out, but it will happen. Um, so I'm, I'm going to really enjoy this and I love this cover, all the gold foiling on it is just absolutely stunning. So that's what I'm going to get to in September along with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Again, I love these editions, they're so tactile, I just, oh, I love feeling them up so to speak. I just love them, I love the covers, a dummy on the bag, he's so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that one and continuing my Harry Potter journey because obviously I haven't read them all. I'm going to read them all and then The Cursed Child. Now, in July I picked um, a book out of my TBR jar which was Shepherd and Babylon. Because of Booktubathon I didn't finish it until this month. So for August I didn't pick anything out of the TBR jar. But I've got it here with me now. As you can see all those little colour things. I'm going to give it a little shake. I've already shaked, shaken it up actually shake it up and I'm going to pick one out and I'm going to hopefully read that book in September and October depending so some of the books I've got books on the Plantagenets and I've got books on other things I've got one now and some of them are really massive so if it's a really big book it might take me into October so it's green oh now this one is only a small one and this is uh, you won't be able to see it but it's called focus on fame and it's by anthony beauchamp now anthony beauchamp was a photographer in the 1950s and he actually killed himself not long after his autobiography came out or just before it came out i'm not sure which he was married to winston churchill's daughter sarah and they weren't they didn't like him um, and he photographed among others marilyn monroe and there's some very famous photographs of marilyn that he took i bought this book not this year, I think it was last year, I think it was 2015, um, in Hay on Wye. I haven't had a trip to Hay on Wye this year, that is in the works for later in the year. And I plan on vlogging that one when I when I go to Hay on Wye, I'm going to do a whole series of vlogging, taking you around all the bookshops, because I love Hay on Wye. Um, so yes, I'll, I'll pull that one out now and we'll read that one. So if I get that one read before the end of the month, I will, um, in another video, pick another book out of the TBR jar, or I won't. It depends on how I'm doing with my reading. So, is that everything? I'm just trying to think. Yes, yeah, so TBR, what I'm reading, Goodreads update, why I read, not buying too many books. Let's see how many books I do end up buying <laughs> in September. I am going to try and knock it down because uh, I know that if I go to Hawaii, we'll be, we're talking 10 to 15 books because it's just amazing there. So, what are your plans for September? What are you reading? What are you planning on reading in September? Um, how Are you doing the Goodreads challenge? And if so, how are you getting on? I mean, I'd love to know. I'm on Goodreads under, I think it's just under my name, which is the same name as my channel. So if you want to add me on Goodreads, please, please do. I'd be happy to. I'm always looking for book recommendations. If there's anything you think I should be reading, leave it in the comments below and I will have a look. 
this is why I use booktube and I'm going to say this now I buy booktube to find books I want to read um, I've already found five or six more that I want to buy this month and I know I'm not going to be able to get them all um, so it's just which ones I buy when I get to them but yes that's why I, I, I love booktube I love watching people's hauls and their wrap-ups to see what they think of books and, I, and what the books are about and that's how I'm making choices now I'm um, some of the books I've read are because I want to read them because they're books I would read but there are books I've read that I've read because of of booktube and that's great so that's it for now for me that's my bookish ramblings if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up so like share comment and please subscribe and I'll see you soon happy reading bye